Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about site admins. Site admins are also called as site collection admins. In nutshell, site admin is a permission to manage SharePoint sites. Site admins is not an administrator role in Microsoft 365 that you assign to the users. Like we have global administrator role, SharePoint administrator or exchange administrator roles. Site admin is a permission that you assign to a user to manage the SharePoint sites. If you want to give someone permission to manage SharePoint sites and you do not want to give him SharePoint admin role, you can give him site admin permission and that user will be able to manage these sites, but he will not have any access to the SharePoint admin center. To add or remove a site admin permission, you need to be a global administrator or a SharePoint administrator. The process of adding and removing the site admins is same for a communication site. It is same for a team site with classic experience and a team site that doesn't has Microsoft 365 group connected. To add a site admin in a communication site, either you can select the site and at the top you can click membership or you can go to the properties, go to membership tab and click site admins. Now here you will click add site admins and you can look for a user. For example, I'll add Bob Ross, click add. And now Bob Ross is a site administrator for this particular communication site. Likewise, if you have a team site with classic experience, or a team site that doesn't has Microsoft 365 group connected, you can follow the same step. For example, this is the classic site. So you can go to membership and under site administrators, click add site admins. And here you can add the user to whom you want to be added as site admin and click add. And similarly, if you have a SharePoint site that doesn't has Microsoft 365 group connected. Like we have this site, team site, no group. This is the communication site. We have this one. So we can select the site, either click membership or go to properties, membership, site admins. And from here you can add a user as a site admin for this particular SharePoint site. But in case of a team site that is connected to a Microsoft 365 group, the owners of the group are automatically added to the site admins. For example, this is a team site that has Microsoft 365 group connected. And if you go to membership, under site owners, we can see the group is added as a site owner, ABC team site three owners. And if we click site admins, here also we can see the same group. So the same membership that we have under site owners group, same is replicated to site admins. So that means the users who are added as owner within this group that is connected to the site are added as site admins for this particular SharePoint site. If you want to add another user as site admin, you can click, you will go to site admins and click add site admins. And here you will add the user. Click add. And this way you can add site administrators in a team site that has Microsoft 365 group connected. And if you want to remove a site admin from a particular site, go to the site properties, go to membership, select the site admin and here click remove as site admin. Click remove. So the user is removed from site admins group. So this is how you manage site admin permissions on the SharePoint sites.